everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I mean, today's video, I feel like it's gonna be quite mega. It has potentially been quite long, but judging from your comments, you're cool with that. You're cool with that. Um, I can't remember what video it was. It was when I put up the like makeup collection spring clean and people were like, yes, we are here for a long video. So that's what I'm delivering today. Um, I feel like I've recently had a bit of an epiphany uh, style wise. And I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to like show it in action in my wardrobe. I wanted to talk to you about mood boards. Basically just all the style chat. I always say it, but I feel like with YouTube videos, you are what you eat. And at the moment I'm eating like Alison Bornstein <laughs> style videos. Or to be fair, I'm trying to find like other people. If you have any other style YouTuber recommendations, like I am all ears. I love watching her like take some like one thing out of her wardrobe and then make like four or five different things out of it and show different ways to wear it. And I kind of want to do the same, but let's start by talking about style. I feel like over the last couple of years, it's kind of like same but different. <laughs> like ultimately my style has changed so much since I started on YouTube. I have been on YouTube now for 13 years, for the whole of my 20s and now into my 30s and now I'm a mom. I'm like in a very different chapter of my life right now and definitely postpartum style body changes everything is very interesting and very different when i was pregnant i had boobs for instance and now i don't i've gone back to not having boobs but having just <laughs> you catch my drift you catch my drift i finally feel at a point like almost two years postpartum where i feel really comfortable in my body and really confident in my body and i feel like that has shifted what I wanna wear slightly. I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous this summer, which like, you know me, I'm previously like, I do not wear dresses or skirts. I found this like slightly more feminine edge to my wardrobe that I really wanna explore a little bit more and like be a little bit more adventurous, but still within the confines of this very like, quite polished, quite groomed, obviously very neutral space. Ultimately, my day-to-day -day is very casual and very practical, but I felt like I was almost going a bit too far into that and like leaning a bit too far into that and actually looking at what I was wearing and being like, I don't actually really love what I'm wearing right now. It's just because it's what's in front of me. It's very easy and I was just kind of grabbing things and not really thinking about it. And I made a bit of a vow that even if I'm like dropping Ralph off in the morning, <laughs> even if I'm picking him up in the evening, like whatever I'm doing, I'm literally like popping down the shops and picking up some milk. I want to feel good about the outfit that I'm wearing. And since I made that shift, it was like only a couple of weeks ago, but I'm like, Yes, it's made me really excited to get ready in the morning and it's put a new perspective on things. So even though we had that massive wardrobe clear out, I will link that video out there in the corner for you if you missed that. Since that video, me and Mark went away for the weekend and you know when you go away and you're like itching to do something, like I was itching to get back because I was like, I, I need to reorganise my wardrobe. I need to reorganise my wardrobe. And what I've done is created this very, I'm trying to think of a better word for it than polished, but to me it just feels like this very, like if the spectrum of my style is quite polished and groomed and like put together and then this is like super practical, comfy, casual, I've kind of taken like this 50% of my wardrobe and I'm just exploring and playing and seeing how I can take these pieces but make them everyday appropriate for me whilst also still channeling that like I just woke up like this Parisian cool girl vibe even though I'm not cool girl <laughs> you know what I mean all I've done is archived the things that didn't feel like they fitted that aesthetic and I've just moved them over onto the rail over there so they're always there if in the morning I'm like right no you know what I need my trainers they're there I can grab them I can always move them back in but um I feel like it's been fun to kind of play in this space a bit and as Alison says, looking like I know her, we're best friends. She's very into this like self archiving thing. Like if something isn't serving you at this precise exact moment, but say it's like, it makes me think I really shouldn't have got rid of my um, my like tight leather biker jacket from Anne of the Stories. Cause she's like, they will come back in fashion again. And if you just love that piece and next time it comes back, you want to be wearing that piece, then you should keep it. I don't know, it's giving me like a new, perspective on things. I really like the idea of just playing with what I want to play with at the moment. And I can always rejig if I want to. Wow, that was a long intro. <laughs> right, so from that, I have done a lot of mood boards. I kind of realized there was two levels of my personal style day to day, and it was this slightly more polished look, and then this slightly more casual day with the boys kind of look. And I'm trying to find a way to 
mesh those two things together because ultimately me going to London and being a little bit more like, oh, look at me, looking a bit more fancy isn't all that frequent, but I do love the look of that style. So I kind of want to find a way to mesh the two. If you want my advice on mood boarding, I did do a blog post on it this week. I'll link it down below for you. And also that's got my mood boards on it. So if you want to kind of see what I'm referencing throughout this video, then you can check out that blog post. But I now just want to go through and just try some things on. Just try some things on. First I want to explore this and just try and find some different outfits for just like a plain white shirt. So my plain white shirt is this one from Jeff Avenue. Um, I got an Instagram DM about this the other day. What size do I wear? I wear a medium in this. And I think that person is wearing some creamy coloured jeans. Ooh, with like a black flip flop maybe. So I kind of like that the jeans are a little bit more yellowy than the shirt. The jeans are new from Mother. Like, do I need to do the tuck in? I feel like maybe this outfit needs the tuck in. I feel like the shirt is a bit of a strange length. Their shirt is more like between the legs. Unless do I try a different shirt? That almost feels like it could be too long. I think I'm just going to tuck this one in. And then they're doing like a chunky flip flop, like a rogue Ginza sandal. Um, but I don't own that anymore. And I might just do a trusty Aviana. Do you know how hard it is to find these in stock at the moment? They have stock everywhere. Okay, loving that. Um, and then I think they're wearing a straw bag. Always ask where this one is from. And sadly, the seller has shut down their shop. Um, it was a place called Wood Grey, but there are so many similar ones on Etsy and Mango always comes out with a similar dupe every year. Um, but yeah, I feel like that is ding, 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 outfit number one. So that's my interpretation of it. I mean, I, I love this. Of course I love this. This is like everything that I like in an outfit. I think what I'm gonna do is take photos of each outfit. So I've almost got like a mini collation of like a lookbook of all of these looks. Definitely a good idea if you're gonna think about doing the same thing. I can obviously insert them into this video, but I just think it would be a good thing to have. I can like save them in a folder in my phone. Whilst I've got on the white jeans, I might try to recreate this look. Good old Lizzie looking fab with like a suede loafer and a black shirt. These are both things I already own. So this is probably an outfit I've like possibly worn before, but it's always good to have a reminder. <laughs> I've got two different shirt lengths. Um, this one is from Arquette and this is their oversized linen. I think it's gonna be this. I've also got the Jeff Avenue on the go shirt, but that's the same length as the previous one as their breezy shirt and that it's quite short on the front. And I quite like the idea of like not tucking this in. It's quite nice. It's only buttoned to here because it means you kind of still see that waist, especially if you're like walking along, you've got a bag and it's kind of like pushing it back a little bit. I think it's this one. Lizzie's wearing a little kind of black bag. But I think I'd do this with the puzzle, yeah, again, again. Oh, Lizzie, you never, you never fail us. <laughs> I really love this outfit and it's incorporating a lot of things I already had. Well, everything I already had in my wardrobe except for the jeans, which are new. Arquette have brought back these suede loafers this year and I have to say, the suede loafers are so comfortable. Like out of all of the shoes that I've got here, they're the ones aside from Converse that I wanna go for the most just because they are really, really, really easy to wear. And here's my recreation of this look. I feel like both of these looks have been good for kind of, I don't know, 16, 17, 18 degree weather, but we're still at that point, well, currently when I'm filming this video, hope, hopefully not by the time this video comes live, just that if you want to layer up and also something a little bit more like formal and put together. And this was the inspiration photo that made me keep these jeans because originally I wanted a long, like to the floor length of denim cream jean. Then I tried these on and they kind of changed my mind and actually on my mood board, this more cropped denim kept appearing. Let me show you the photo. Something a bit more like this that incorporates the cream denim, but also a leather jacket, AKA my whistles clean bonded leather jacket. I think it's gonna be really good with that. Okay, hear me out on this one. Loving the top half of the outfit, I've just got on an Arquette crew neck, um, just black t-shirt. This is the Whistles clean bonded leather jacket. You know what, it's so hard to dupe this jacket and it's always out of stock, but I do occasionally find good ones secondhand and I include them as part of my secondhand Sunday um, TikTok series. So if ever you're in the market, just make sure you keep your eyes peeled on that um, because occasionally good ones come up. Um, but again, I've got the same jeans. However, I couldn't work out what to do for shoes because in the inspiration photo, they've got those like, heavy, big Prada loafers. And I don't own any like black, big, chunky loafers like that. I actually really like it with these. And this is just Avianas. Like just throw it on with the Avianas. Um, there are of course about three days a year where you can wear like a coat or something heavy on the top 
and flip flops. Um, so this is an outfit for one of those very, very rare days. Um, but I, I really like it. I put it on and I was like, ooh, different, but exactly what I was looking for. So here's the look and here's my interpretation of it. I feel like this one is a little bit different and sometimes it doesn't need to be so on the nose. You're not gonna exactly have every single thing in your wardrobe. So I feel like this is my interpretation of that look, um, but one that I still love nonetheless. So I've become a little bit obsessed with the, um, how, do they, how do you say their name? The Moosegard sisters. Um, are they twins? Are they sisters? I'm not 100% sure. They have a very cool brand called Lie Studio, which is their own jewellery brand. They're just very, they're very cool. They're very cool. And I feel like they've been the main, um, my main source of inspiration in terms of this slightly more like elevated, like less slouchy look I want to go for. And I really, really love this look. I think this is such a cool one for the summer, obviously incorporating the jeans again, but doing something a little bit more formal on the top half of like a tucked in shirt. That's the great thing with this Jeff Avenue shirt is that actually it tucks in really nicely because it's not super long. Whereas my Arquette linen shirts are so long. Okay, I'm going to do like a roll of the sleeve. Make sure there's lots of like bagginess around here. Ooh, I'm loving this. I think it looks nice with the Avianas actually, but I might kind of dress this up a little bit, but I feel like the Avianas would work on more like a day-to-day -day basis for me. <laughs> I love that I go like that. You, you, can, you can see that. <gasps> oh, this is the new me, okay? This is very, very cute. I feel like if I want to go for a flat, the Manolos are really giving the vibe. But also these, these are the um, Angel Alarcon. <laughs> I'm sure by the time this video goes live, I would have learned how to actually say it. I'm sure one of you would have told me. Um, yes, love this with like little, oh, with a little Suzanne bag. This is giving very cute, like Suzanne vibes. I really, really, really love that. I feel like it's quite like, put together and polished with this bag, or I could do, <laughs> oh, it's that, the new Celine Hobo, it's that. It needed a little bit of slouch. I love doing this. I highly recommend everyone do this with their wardrobes immediately. This is making me like fall in love with everything, like one pair of jeans, and I've managed to find four outfits that I really, really love that all have like the same thread, but ultimately a slightly different look, a slightly different purpose, love. And here's my recreation of the look. Let's try something else on the bottom half. I feel like these have served their purpose for now. Um, through my mood boarding, I realized that, of course, I've got a lot of like oversized, like slightly baggy vintage feel denim. And I still love that. And that was on my mood board a lot, but also on my mood board a lot was this slightly more like fitted denim and I was like oh this is interesting because I feel like I don't own that much anymore in that arena and definitely like more of a redone high rise stovepipe jeans um vibe which I do still have of course I still love um but these are the comfort stretch ones that definitely fit me the best right now I might give the phrase a bit of a snip because they're getting like a little bit too long. But let's put these on and have a little play around. So I really love this photo and I thought it was interesting because it's something that I could really easily do with my wardrobe, but it's something that I don't really do that often. And it's the idea of layering a shirt like this under the matching tone, but in a tank top. I don't know, why, why don't I do that? It's such an easy idea. Something like this, but I might just try and do this with my white shirt that I've already got on. Now I'm looking at the photo, I'm really thinking it's actually just a top. <laughs> it's just a baggy, it's just a top with like a slightly baggy neckline. But you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend and we're gonna keep going with this because I think it's still like a nice idea. Does it maybe need a belt? Hmm. You know what, I'm actually, I'm like not feeling this. I'm not, it's like too high up here. I don't know, I'm like not feeling this on me. I can't explain why because I'm not a celebrity stylist, <laughs> but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look right. I think it's where this is hitting. Like, I think for me, I need to accept that this is a shirt that I'm always gonna wanna tuck in. I'm not sure I like love where that hits. It's just like, boom, crotch. But let's play around. I'm sure I can make this work. Just not currently like this. Also, you can see my bra, please ignore. How's about we try it with a suede blazer. Oh, it saves the day. It saves the day. Okay, I I love this. I love this. Obviously, just incorporating the lower low puzzle bag, my vintage Jaeger suede jacket. Did I just call it a blazer? I had a very early morning. And then just a peek of the belt. Like, yes. Okay, this is me. Slightly more refined me. That previous outfit wasn't working. Too much material around here. So technically, I have nothing to compare it to, but this is the final outfit.
and I really like it. Sometimes it's, it's nice to go off peace. I am my own inspiration. <laughs> a question I've been asking myself is, can I pull this look off? Like this, like, oh, I just threw on my sweatshirt over my shoulders because ultimately if I could, it'd be quite handy. It's quite practical and I'm one of those people who like always gets cold outside. So I always like to have a layer. So um, yeah, let's see if I can make this work. I'm gonna take off the belt and just go back to having the denim and the vest off. I feel like this is the most simple. I need to get my jumper from upstairs for the wash. <laughs> it was here all along. It was here all along. Maybe I'll try it with the gray. I don't know, maybe I could, maybe I can, maybe I can. Maybe I can. It's kind of nice as well because you get a bit of jumper to uh, lean your bag on. I feel like this needs a big bag for me. Like a big bag, these shades. Maybe I need to put the sunglasses on. Do you know what? I feel like this needs Levi's, the Levi's trousers. I feel like this needs a slightly baggier bottom half. There you go. There you go, found it. This feels like the meshing of that kind of more casual vibe with that more like polished groom vibe that like somewhere in the middle, still kind of 90s. Like I just can't seem to, I can't seem to let the 90s go. <laughs> this would be a very like good going to the park outfit for me. So here's my original inspiration and here's how I've made it work. Now we've entered the realm of baggy jeans. I want to see if I can make something like this work. So baggy jeans, a belt, like a shirt. Maybe we can play around a bit with a shoe. Okay, who remembers this shirt um, from with nothing underneath? I wore it loads when I was pregnant, so I just put it on and I was like, oh, this, <laughs> like expecting a baby bump to be there. I was like, oh, that feels kind of strange. But this is my go-to kind of blue shirt. Whenever I've previously had like the baby blue kind of shirt, I don't, I don't know if that's really like my color. I'm not sure I really like love that shade on me, but I do like this almost, it's like a denim shirt, but not a denim shirt. It's their lapis blue shade. I've had this since we were back in the flats. I've had this for a long time and I love it. And I think I've been able to make this work quite easily. I actually have on the Manolo uh, ballet flats. Um, I think that's quite a nice way of like dressing this up a bit. Obviously it would work with like all of my other shoes. This would work with Converse, this would work with Avianas, this would work with my, oh it would look really nice with my suede loafers. Oh it would, it would. I think I prefer this with the Manolos. This feels like a bit like I've done this look before, it's like nothing new. I feel like having the black kind of slightly pointed shoe with it just gives a bit of new energy. Look at me talking like I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just with something like the puzzle hobo bag, structured. Oh, I think I love it with that actually. That is nice. Yeah, that just like adds that little bit of polish. See, it's adding the least obvious bag. Like it just finishes this off. It's perfect. Yeah, this is exactly what I want to wear. So here's my inspiration and here's how I've made it work. Another thing I really liked was this one because I don't really tend to wear my like cotton jumpers out and about. I feel like they're a really around the house piece for me, but I love them so much. You lot will know I've mended my American vintage joggers like twice because they've had holes in and I really love it. We can't even see it anymore. So why not wear them out the house? I love them. I love the look of them. I love wearing them. Um, and I feel like they would work really well with these jeans. I've got something down me. Please, please ignore. Um, but I bought this as a matching jogger set um, back at the beginning of like the first lockdown. And seriously, I have got like, I, I wear it weekly. Like that is not even an over exaggeration. Um, you know what, this, this could easily become my like go-to casual day outfit, but there's something about wearing it with the Avianas, whereas previously, I mean, normally I'd wear this outfit with like a New Balance or I'd wear it with my Converse, or for the summer, I'd wear it with a chunky, um, a chunky sandal, like my mango ones. But actually, I, I don't know, I kind of like this more relaxed feel. And I think with this, there you go. There you go, such a good casual little outfit. I was just thinking and marinating on the fact that I'm really pleased I didn't buy the Chanel dad sandals. I mean, they were so, so, so expensive. It would never have happened anyway. But you know, occasionally I went on Bestiaire and like had a little look and I mean, the prices on Bestiaire are mad. <laughs> anyway, they're pretty close to the original price of them. Um, but I'm definitely feeling a slimmer profile sandal this year so it's one of those things it's like ultimately your tastes are going to change you're going to shift a bit and i'm sure i will still wear my mango dupes of them um but sometimes with those like really really like trendy designer very heavily like logo thing i feel like i trusted my gut with that one and was like you know what i'm not sure i'm not sure i should do it i still think they're very cool and like love them on other people but i feel like this summer i'm gonna wear like I feel like I'm probably just gonna live in like Aviana sandals. Well, hopefully my Manolos, that's that's the plan. I just showed Mark them and he was like, wow, they're 
interesting. This is my inspiration and here's the outfit I found. Okay, this one is slightly different. This one is from the Dish Instagram page and I don't own a black maxi skirt and I feel like it wouldn't look that great with my cream maxi skirt, although maybe I'd do an outfit with that afterwards, but I do have a vest like this, kind of, a little bit similar. Um, so can I make an outfit that gives this feeling, but not including the skirt? I think the answer is yes, I can. I'm just gonna try it with a belt because in that photo, the model is wearing a belt round skirt and I think that actually looked really nice. Yes, yes, oh, okay. Love, love, love this outfit. Um, the vest I spoke about in last week's video is one of my new secondhand buys. If you missed that video, I'll link it in the corner for you. Oh, as are the shoes as well. These are Celine from The Real Real. I absolutely adore them. I feel like I picked up some really, really, really good secondhand buys. So if you missed that video, I highly recommend you take a watch because I'm over the moon with some of my latest purchases. So this is vintage Jaeger. Then the belt is Anderson's. And if you're wondering about the belt, it's always the same one. I own two belts. I have the Anderson's textured belt in black. And then I also have the brown. Uh, those are the two that I've been switching between. And then these are the Arquette, I think the Dahlia jeans. And then the Celine shoes. And a little like lower bay hobo bag shoulder number. But I feel like this encapsulates that outfit and still has the same feeling but ultimately has a completely different bottom half to it so this was the inspiration and here's how mine has turned out okay one final challenge this skirt now this is a new purchase that is also new it is from dish and it's just their satin skirt and i saw it on um angie smith do you follow her instagram oh you should she's fab i'll link it down below for you and she just put it on i look fab on her and she lives in australia and it looked all like casual and cool and wonderful and i was like yep yeah, i'm gonna do it i do feel like a slip satin skirt in a cream and then maybe a black one i just did an article for who what where where i contributed with my summer wish list and the arquette one was on there i was like oh I, I feel like i really liked the cut of the realization part you know the leopard print one that i had to sell because i no longer fitted into it sad times i really liked the fit of that and i did wear it quite often so i just need to find my way with this plain version and actually on my inspiration list one of the moose garden sisters was wearing this and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pop that on my mood board because actually that could help me style this. So they're wearing it with like a kind of sleeve, more like a sleeveless bestie type thing. My version of that is in the wash. So I might get it out of the washing basket and try it on because I feel like that might work better than say a slim, tank, I don't know. Let's, let's try some things on. Okay, unexpected item in bagging area. <laughs> I just tried on, like obviously I'm putting clothes on, I just tried it on and obviously we're still wearing the vest from my previous outfit and was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, Maybe some Avianas. It's got like a little tie. That's quite a nice, nice thing to show off. But obviously you could just tuck it in if you didn't want to. Do you higher? Do I need this higher? No, I think, I think it needs to be long. I like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like it this back. This is another thing that Alison says is she's like, if you're struggling with something, pair it with like your regulars, your everyday things in your wardrobe. So for me, like this bag is something that I reach for all the time. So I put it on and I'm like, Oh yeah, that actually looks really nice with that bag. So yeah, I'm really liking this. I feel like I want to try it with a cream top. Like I want to find that combination, but this is a nice fun little bonus outfit. Okay, I really like it with the cost top from the laundry basket. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got that kind of slightly baggier feel that I feel like if I wear this with a tight, tank top it's just like a bit too like tight and then i never like an elasticated waistband on show i don't know it just like doesn't look right for me so i like that i can kind of hide that elasticated waistband and yeah this is exactly what i want maybe obviously a good everyday option are the avianas but maybe i'll try it with these my lock are sandals who remembers these these are like an anna classic i've had them years oh this is nice this is nice this is like i don't know i have something slightly fancy to go to like this feels kind of fancy i think i want to wear like a bit of an unexpected bag with it so something maybe like this Got my tic tacs in can you shake tic tacs at me <laughs> oh okay this is cute i really really love this i'm very much like feeling myself in this outfit <laughs> also how it moves can we just take my yeah the movement gorgeous love thought i'd just make sure it didn't go better with something slouchy no i think i quite like it with something a bit more 
structured. So here was my original inspiration and here's my outfit. Okay, this video has taught me two things. Number one, it's a really good idea. Just like, obviously if you're not filming this for a YouTube video, I just highly recommend that you do this. Like carve out an hour seasonally just to try some things on, make a mood board, get some ideas, get some inspiration, just like get those creative juices flowing. Um, because I found some really, really nice outfits today that I probably wouldn't have found if I hadn't like taken the time to do this activity. Um, and also number two, to leave a little bit more time to pick my outfit in the morning because sometimes you could see the process, like sometimes I just didn't feel an outfit, I didn't like how it looked. And most of the time I just, I have to go. Like I, 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 I should have gone like five minutes ago. <laughs> and then I ultimately spend the day wearing an outfit I don't feel like 100% great about, but just by like tweaking the trousers, wearing a different shoe, picking up a different handbag, I could actually completely love that outfit. So it's really, it's, it's made me think, right, I need to prioritize picking my outfit in the morning. Like I prioritize many other things, but like it needs to be bumped a little bit higher up the list, you know what I mean? But yeah, this has been really, really fun. Um, it's probably a very, very long video, but hopefully you found it so interesting. Hopefully it encourages you to do the same um, because it's been really fun to like find new ways to wear these like pre-loved pieces like this that I've added to my wardrobe. This is a new piece. This is a piece that I've been gifted. And then these shoes are something that I've had in my wardrobe for like years. So it's been a really nice way of combining all of those things together and finding this like new style that feels like me but a little bit more put together. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week with a brand new video and I've got absolutely no idea what it is so I don't know pop your recommendations down below and I'll see you then bye